Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I wanna show you how I created this design right here using Canva and using an app that allowed me to distort the text like that. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and jump over onto Canva and show you guys how you can create this design. So I'm on Canva's homepage right now. We're gonna go ahead and start by hitting custom size. So I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the standard t-shirt design uh, size. And it will ensure that when I print, it does print at above a 300 DPI. I do prefer to design um, for the darker colors as they do tend to sell better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select black as my background color. And so now for this design, I'm gonna be doing two things i'm going to be using canva ai to create a graphic and i'm going to be using a canva text app to get the warped text so let's go ahead and start with our graphic now this is a funny design that i've seen a lot um, lately and it has to do here we go we'll go up to elements we're going to go to ai generator it has to do with something really cute so in this case a cute little kitten and a ball of yarn and then it says rage consumes me or my rage consumes me um and so we're going to start right here on the um ai generator the canva ai generator and i'm just going to go ahead and put let's say cute kitten with ball of yarn um, and of course, this would work probably for anything cute. So whatever cute thing that you can think of, it could be a puppy, it could be, you know, a kitten with flowers, it could be a little baby pig, doesn't matter. You're looking for something really cute. So now some of these aren't going to be what you want, obviously. That's not quite going to work. This one, the cat looks like it's got two arms. This one's kind of cute. I don't know how the background remover is going to work. And this one's kind of cute, but I do want a plain background. Now I can always do is like this. I can add a cute kitten with a ball of yarn, let's say on, on white background and see if that doesn't help. Oops, spelled it wrong. Try again. Let's see if we can get a simpler background. And so you may have to try a couple of times. Um, obviously AI is still, you know, uh, improving and getting better, but there's still lots of AI problems. Here is a really cute one and I can definitely remove the background on that one. All of these are going to be super cute. I do kind of like the colorful ones. Oops, sale. Um, I like them all. I like this one the most. I can always go ahead and hit generate more like this and see if it comes up with anything better. Um, but that one is really cute. The thing about AI is every time you do this, you're going to get different designs. So you can use exactly the same prompts as me and you're still going to get a different design. I'm going to get a different design, but that ensures that whatever you put up is original. Nobody's going to have the exact same graphic that you have. Um, and so there are pros and cons again to using AI, but you know, having your own original graphic is something that's, that's definitely good. So here is one of them. This one is kind of cute. Um, I don't necessarily love that some of it's out of focus. Let's see if I can do a background remover, see how that's going to look. I still think this one is probably the best because this one's giving me that little out of focus look that I don't love. This one definitely is the best here. So I can go ahead and give it a second and do a background remover on that one. And we can always try again. That one I actually do like the best though. I can try one more time, but I think that this is probably the one that I'm going to go with. But let's just see if I can get anything a little bit better. <laughs> this one's cute because the kitty is inside the ball of yarn. And this one is cute, but this is the only one that gives it that graphic look. The rest of these almost look more realistic, and I do like the graphic look. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Now we can always edit it too, so there's a little dots here that I don't know what they're supposed to be because yarn shouldn't have dots. That's no problem. What we can do is go to background remover again, and I can just use the little erase foot function here, and I can go ahead and just highlight and, you know, erase anything that I don't want included. So any of those little dots there that I'm not loving, I can just go ahead and, you know, get rid of those. And so once I have it sort of the way I like it there, that looks pretty good. And that's perfect. So 
super fast and easy. And just like that, we have a graphic and that only took like a minute. Um, and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the text. Now, because I want it to be a little bit funny, I want to add a text that's got a little bit more, I don't want to say grunge, but hard character, you know, to go with the, the, the words, you know, rage consumes me, obviously, what you've got is a mismatch. And that's what makes it funny is you've got something really, really cute with something that's obviously very mismatched. So let's go ahead, we're going to go to apps. So at the left hand side of the page, oops, here it is apps. We are going to go with um, a font app that is called, let's see, another sale. Um, which one is it? It's, I think it's Typecraft. Here it is, Typecraft. So that's the one that we want, Typecraft. And this one's gonna allow us to warp the font. Um, and so what I'm gonna put is in caps, I'm gonna do Rage Consumes Me. And we are going to pick a font. And the one that I went with on this one, let's see, it was in the B section here. There it is, bar. Baro, Baro, Punta, one, two, three. Anyways, that's the one. So I'm gonna click on that one. And then colors, I want it to be white because we're gonna do it on a back background. So I can go ahead and select white there. And now what I want it to be is a lot taller. So I'm gonna start by doing, actually, let me come back down. I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go this way. So maybe something there. And then what I can do to make sure that it is symmetrical side to side would be to go ahead and put mirror points and do horizontal. And so once I do that, now I can take the side and pull it down. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna just mirror it. So this way I can make sure that it's totally symmetrical like that and so that's how i can get that sort of curved look and then i just hit add to design and i can go ahead and bring it up here and i can always you know play with it a little bit so if it's too curved or not curved enough or whatever i can play with it there but there is my rage consumes me and then i can put my little kitty right in the middle i can even make my kitty a little bit bigger might as well make this really fill the page so something like that. And so there's the design. So I made that design super quick. That only took me a couple of minutes and now I've got a design and I could put up multiple versions too by just changing out the graphics. So if I wanted to put up a ton of different versions with different graphics, whether it's different cats or different cute animals, I could go ahead and do that. And I could scale this out very, very quickly and have it original unique design that nobody else is going to have because AI is never going to generate the exact same design twice. And so really fast, easy way using nothing but Canva to come, you know, create your own design. And once I've got it, all I would have to do is put rage consumes me, just titling it cat. And then I go ahead and hit share, download. It's a PNG, you want a transparent background and you go ahead and hit download and it is ready to go. So it was really that fast and that easy to create um, a good looking design that would sell and remember simple sells. So you don't have to spend a ton of time or a ton of effort on a design for it to be a very you know, good seller. Um, and I have had people ask me, by the way, when I do this, if I do anything to upscale it, no, what you see is what I do. So exactly what you saw is exactly how I put it up on Amazon and it prints out just fine for a t-shirt. I probably wouldn't go ahead and put it up on something giant like a blanket unless I was gonna upscale it. But for a t-shirt, it's totally fine. And it is, you know, exactly what you see is exactly what I do. Um, if you do have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do read all the comments and thank you so much for all of your kind words. They do mean a lot. Um, Again, I do have a beginner's course for print on demand. So if you are a beginner getting into this, I will have links um, in the description in the comment section below this video. So I've got um, a course that I sell on Etsy and it includes um, four videos that shows you step-by-step -step how to set up an Etsy shop from scratch and how to use you know, Canva and all of its 
you know, features for print on demand. I also have it in a book form. The book form obviously doesn't come with any videos and you can't click on any of the links in the book, but the book form is available on Amazon if you prefer that. So if that is something you're interested in, you can check that out. And again, because you were so patient and waited until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. So without any more waiting, these are going to be your five bonus niches. So number one, I have rabies. <laughs> number two, I need a huge cocktail. Hold the tail. Number three, does this shirt make me look bald? Number four, I tooted. Now I've seen this done with like a little cute like train. Um, and then number five, full-time mom part-time hooker. And again, that's just a funny fishing design. So lots of fun ways that you guys could design for these. Um, and again, I hope you guys are doing really well with your sales, expanding your portfolio. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.